Guys, Ryan Bidoff here, blogging from Paradise. I wanted you to look at the time. Not necessarily the fact that it's 10.33 right now on my yummy Kit Kat. Wish I had a Kit Kat right now. But <clears throat> I wanted to introduce a concept, a mental block, a limiting belief that I see a lot of bloggers really suffer from. And I personally suffer from it myself. I'd probably hold this up for a real long time. Maybe I'll put it over here. It's going to go out though. The screen's going to black out. But you get the deal. And this limiting belief. Hi, Delilah. She always comes out when I do the video. She knows I'm giving you attention. <laughs> Is based on time. I get a lot of tweets, emails, Facebook messages based on different blog posts I've written, different videos i put out there. And the other day I got a, a tweet from an awesome Twitter friend of mine saying to me <clears throat> in response to my blog post from eons ago, okay, it was only like a year ago, I wrote a blog post, how to write a 7,000 word blog post weekly. See Delilah? So. This tweeter said, I personally don't think people have the time for that. They put aside the time to write a 7,000 word blog post. Now I get stuff with videos. People will say, not even so much about my stuff, but in general. I've seen a number of uh, rock and bloggers out there talk about people don't have the time for anything more than a, a five minute video, maybe a 15 minute video. They don't have the time for it. They don't have the time to sit down and write a 7,000 word blog post. Or to read, rather, to set aside the time to do that. And the more you focus on this idea, that people don't have time, people won't have time. It's weird, right? That you're actually creating that energy, you're creating that... Come on, Chance, yeah. I know you're going out. Come on, out. In, out. All right, fine. You poop or you get off the pot. That's what they said in the Bidoff household. So if you're thinking about this idea of time, it's one of the worst limiting beliefs that a lot of really superstar bloggers even carry, let alone you know, people on the come up and people who want to build a successful blog. It's this idea of people don't have time to read longer blog posts. People don't have time to read ebooks. People don't have time to watch longer videos. Look at Delilah's Tale. That's the limiting belief. Now, on a topical level, just from like the monkey mind, the mind, the ego, all that good stuff, you could look at examples and say, well, listen, look at this person. Look at someone like Glenn Alsop. He puts out a long post, maybe not super frequently, but, you know, things that take 25 minutes to read, 30 minutes to read. And he has followers, and that's, that's okay. That's all well and good. Fine. But at a deeper level, you have to look at the motivator of what you're doing, what's drawing you to do something. A lot of bloggers who say... You know, people don't have time. You know, they're busy. We're all busy. I know I'm busy. You know, other people are busy. You have to see and be honest about that driver. And I just want to state it in the simplest terms possible. Everything in this universe has two drivers. Love or fear. And there's manifestations of this love and fear on an energetic level. But the point is... The split second you move away from love and fun and confidence and peace and clarity, you start making your way towards fear. And when fear is your driver, I fear people won't have time. I fear I'm pay taking up too much people's time. I fear they're too busy. I fear they just won't put the time aside to read this 8,000 word blog post, or this 10,000 word blog post every week. I fear they won't have time more than a minute because people are busy. I fear, I fear, I fear, I fear, and it's all based on time. You start moving away from your infinite power, from your joy, from your love, from your fun, from your connectedness into a space of fear, competition, lack, and limitation. And good God, I was doing these videos, like right now, I love, I'm having so much fun and so much love for doing these 10 to 15 minute long videos, so I'm going to keep doing them. But in the past, I stopped because I feared, you know what, people don't have time. People don't have time. Thinking about something outside of me 
and setting that energetic precedent, they can only set aside time for a minute long video. But I know how busy I am. People are very, very busy. But what you don't realize is literally the universe just responds to you. So if you get clear on the idea that I love doing 45 minute to an hour long video every day, you get really clear on it. You're like, I love this. This is my passion. This is my joy. And this is what I talk about building your day around your joy, around your passion. Your audience of people who love hour-long videos every day, who get off on your content, you will let them in. I swear. It's just, it's just how the outside reflects back to you what you're clear on. But most folks don't want to do it that way because they move away from their love, from their fun, from their passion, their joy, and they start moving towards fear. Your market for people who love writing or reading could set aside the time for anything you do. 10,000 word blog posts a week, every week, reading and commenting on such a post, watching an hour long video every couple days. And I'm just saying hour to like wig your mind out a little bit, but even if it's like 15, 20 minutes, that audience is there. Now again, from a mind space, you could say, okay, it's called having posture. You know, I create, I had fun doing this. I have so much joy doing it. It's going to reflect back to me. You know, I'm not kowtowing. I'm just having posture. I like to think of it as energetic posture or just doing things from a space of love and fun when you're really doing it. Now, you're not forcing out these hour-long videos. I'm saying hour, but 15, 20 minutes. You're not forcing out these really long blog posts. It's not a matter of make it long, then it's good. It's a matter of what really sings to you. Now, of course, if a minute long video sings to you, you have so much joy doing it, so much passion, have so much fun, then run with it. But don't base your creation when you're really in the flow of things and you're having so much fun, your energy's through the roof, on anything other than pure love and fun over here. Don't even take a step away towards the fear. And that time one is a really, really big limiting belief. And it's a meme that gets passed around. And God, I know I've done it in the past. And I still might do it. And if you do, if you catch me saying it, whash, slap me with a wet noodle. Because a bunch of people agree on something and then it becomes some type of rule and it's fear-based. People don't have time. People are busy. That's an idea in your mind, a feeling, a belief. If you hold to that, it shall become true in your reality. If you hold to a different idea of, oh my gosh, I have so much fun doing this, and time really is an illusion overall. I mean, I won't think that all the time, maybe a couple times a year. No. But if you realize that your joy and your passion is the energy that creates your reality along with the universe, then you won't think about time again. You won't look outside yourself. It's just a limiting belief, and people pass it from folk to folk. And you could see examples, but don't even look at the examples. You know, that's still in mind. You want to think, okay, what? Fade. You want to think more, is this love-based and fun-based? Am I doing it just from a space of joy? Or am I moving a little bit away from that into fear? And anything, again, the split second, you say people don't have enough time, they're busy, they can't read, even though you have joy, great joy, writing a 6,000-word blog post. And again, it was like the tweet I received the other day, and I get a lot of this stuff, just emails, you know, people respond to that one. I just don't think... Ryan, people would have the time to set aside for 7,000 word blog posts every week, you know, sitting there 30, 40 minutes to read it. Well, as you think and feel, so it is for you. So that will be reality for that person. But if you're like, I love doing this more than anything in the world and you have real fun doing it. I'm not talking about the energy straining and striving. This is talking about coming from a place of passion, joy, and love where it's not painstaking, it's pure, just everything flow. Like this video, it's pure flow. And who the frick cares? It's all love. Your audience will find you. You will allow them in. And you might meet them through different channels. It's not about you creating a video. Or maybe it is. Who knows? And then just letting it go. But the more you follow your passion and joy, and you do things from a place of love, and not eh, a little bit away, start going to fear... You're going to just do amazing things and you're going to open up channels you hadn't even envisioned. And this is why the blogging from the inside out thing, it's what I do at Blogging from Paradise, it's what Kelly does, it's when we're not worrying about stuff like this. Time, 10.45, oh my god, 10 minute long video, who has time for that? People are busy. No, they're not. 
The universe is infinite. It always has room for someone who follows their passion and joy. Time's an illusion. It really is. We have this idea, my people don't have time. Fear. The split second it's fear, and we all do things from a place of fear. That's okay, but this is about, this video about becoming aware of where you're letting fear choke your passion, choke your fun, choke your joy. And for me to be transparent, it was these videos. A number of months back, I remember I was doing them 20, 25 minutes, at least 10, 15 minutes, and I loved it. And then I stopped because I got attached to outcomes, and more than anything, I really worried about the time aspect. Who really has time? I'm only getting this many views. These short videos get a lot of views. But I didn't have my joy and my passion there. Love. Love and fun. Love and fun. You do things from your love and fun. That's what you build your day around. When you start moving over with this time one, that's the biggest, one of the biggest mental blocks. People don't have enough time. I want to do 4,000 word posts. I want to write that. I really want to do things pillar style. But somebody came along once and they left a comment, 600 word posts, 1,000 most. That's what I like. That's what's good. I don't have time for anything more. Or people don't have enough time. Don't let other people's fears get in the way of your love. Because when you follow your love and your joy and your fun, and it happens to be something that on this scale of time is longer than other people are putting out there, you're going to open up doors in the universe slash God slash Christ slash Buddha, whatever, you know the drill, that infinite love and force is going to open up doors for you that you couldn't have seen, that your monkey mind can't even fathom. And we love the monkey mind. But it was just uh, something I wanted to address today, guys, because so many bloggers pass this to one another, and then they tell their followings, people don't have time, people are busy, I'm busy, I know how things are. And anytime you move away from that love-based, pure passion-based driver, or I shouldn't say driver, that intent, and you start thinking people don't have time, fear, fear is the driver. And fear is probably... Even successful bloggers, like a 90 to 95% driver, most of these guys' days. And it's been in my day a lot of the time, but now it's, it's genuinely not. I'm not saying 100% of the time, but I'm going to sit here for 15 or 20 minutes and create the video. Because this is the exact stuff that lets everything flow. This is the exact love-based instead of fear-based. Like, oh my God, the time, how long is it going to be? i got other stuff to do later. And going on a schedule and everything. When you do things from mind, you do things from fear. Almost all the time. Because it's limited. Even if you think it's inspiration, there's still that limit. But when you do things from love, and just from a place of pure fun and passion and joy, where you're not really thinking, you're just flowing, the universe is acting through you, and that's where the real magic happens. Because when you're coming from a place of love, you're connected. You're really connected with like, everything, and you're going to start seeing things line up that you couldn't have envisioned. So guys, that's it for today. The limiting belief is people don't have enough time to read my longer posts every week. Bullshit. That's fear-based. Anytime it's fear-based, it's constricting. People don't have enough time to set aside for a 15 or 20 minute video. A minute long video does great in this busy world. Bullshit. It's not love. You start making that walk over towards fear, and you start working your way towards fear, you could still have great results and live a cool life, but you won't tap into the miraculous power that helps you do what I've done. You know, I couldn't have logically thought through from a fear-based space, how am I going to go from being a broke security guard, you know, no money, depressed as shit, suicidal, to traveling all over the world and being featured on these blogs and just being seen is how people see me. I don't know, some type of authority. I don't know. They, like I said, I always tap these rectangular squares on a keyboard, my lovely Chromebook. But I couldn't have done that from a fear-based driver. I had to really move towards love and passion and joy and things that, especially when you're doing things from love and passion, sometimes, place of fun, it's not going to make sense to your mind. And this is one such thing because a lot of people, again, they try to look at examples. They might even say, have some posture. I say have energetic posture more than anything. Do what you love and don't look towards any conditions. Don't start thinking, how long should this be? Will people have the time? People make the time based on your clarity. They're literally, literally if I could even say it right, reflect back to you what you're clear on. So your audience will show up. Even if they don't show up immediately, you're going to do what's fun to you and what you love, and what you're passionate about. And they will 
flow in. They will find you through different channels. It just is the way that it is. They simply reflect back to you, back to you what you're clear on. And with this time thing, that's just an element in a lot of folks' minds. It's one of our big drivers, and it's fear-based. And once it's fear-based, it's kind of fucked. Because even though you could have some financial gain, I'm going to keep going with the Fs now, you won't tap into that infinite power that really makes things move. And that really inspires the hell out of people. Because, come on, we want to be inspired more than anything else. Guys, that's it for today. Leave me a comment below. Are you worried about if people have time in a busy world to view your longer videos, to read your longer blog posts? Are you letting fear-based drivers move you away from your miracle working power of love and joy and passion? Are you just taking that step over because you think, yeah, because so many bloggers are sharing it with one another. And all of them rock and they're well-meaning. It's not a bad thing. It's just something to be aware of, that fear is the driver. I fear. It's not a, maybe a super strong fear. Maybe it is. But if it's subtle, you're going to move away from your miracle working power. If it's shorter and you really resonate with it, fine. But in most folks' cases, you know what it is. I got to do it quickly. got to get it out there. People don't have the time. It's either love-based or fear-based. There's really no in-between. You think there is, but it's not. Guys, as if today, leave me a comment below how you're letting fear drive your decisions and how can you change that around. And then let me know, too, when you're letting love and passion fuel your decisions to creating content, to doing connecting, and all that good stuff. Guys, as if for today, share this video. Until next time, you know what to do. Love you much and enjoy paradise.